Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Porta Boy Plus, which is a WarioWare style horror game created by a team that includes known artist Lumpy Touch, who is obviously originally known for the core field animations, although they've done a lot of stuff since then, and I've also played a few of their games in the past. Fish Fighter? Yeah, I fought that fish. Soccer except it's- wait, what? I win! Two dollars! You get money? Bailout. I didn't even do anything on that one. I, I don't even know, like... Park Knight. Whoa! Okay, the, the greens always move. Win. Shop? Pet scope. Okay. There was something there. These mini games are pretty easy. Bailout. Oh, I'm probably still have my hand there so I can bounce off of it. What? I have a shotgun. Wait, what? What? What am I shooting? Wait. What am I shooting? Why do I have a shotgun? Bailout. Oh, okay, it's one of these. I just got, like, stupidly lucky. The initial, uh... Your portable boy is helping you stay healthy. Track your nutrient intake from the portable main menu. Touch it or continue. You win. Perfect present. Hates, loves. That was a pretty easy mini game. Shotguns out. Shotguns out. Where am I? Wait. Oops. Shop. Hearts and ammo. Hmm. Oh, I can bite. I'm, I'm kind of distracted because there's all sorts of stuff going on. Loves a ring. Wait, 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 wait. What? What is going on? Pet scope. I feel like there's might be evil coming about. Fish fighter. That's what you get, Ryu. I mean, fish. Shop. Oh, we died. The screen didn't, um... <laughs> what happened was the, the screen didn't, doesn't lock your cursor, apparently. So when I went to go, like, buy and, like, shoot, my mouse cursor, like, went off the screen and I died. We get an idea what's going on now. <laughs> Um... Healthy. So we need to get up to 50 to get all these images here. Vitals.
I understand this. Winners don't do drugs. Yes. All right. All right. It's my turn now. Play some games with me. All right. Let's play some games. It's my turn now. Play some games with me. Hi there, buddy. What a boy. Put a coin. Uh, I see what this one did. Seven zero four one. I did something. X and Y equals what? One three five nine. Find the entry points. X and Y. It's on the, um, the pet one. So you can't get multiple in one shot. I mean, that is doable. You stock an ammo when you get the chance. Here we go. I don't see this XY. I think we need to, um, the, because we see the coordinates, right? We need to get more information. Like, we gotta get further into the game. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Damn it. I started getting nervous about the stuff in the background. Get out of here. Whoa! We're gonna run out of ammo soon. Pet scope. Kick me all the way. Ammo, definitely. Whoa! No, you don't do that. That ain't cool. It's bad. This is bad. We're about to lose here. There's an evil clown on my screen, which is not cool. Kit, move. I don't have money. Yep, we're down. Game over. 36 score this time. The vowel swings make me think of, like, Metroid Prime. The portable series. No, it's me, I. 999 or zero dollars. 100 games in one? Wow. Just plug in your fingers, 9943. Under the cow, in this right there.
There's a scary thing and looks vaguely like a cat. Not sure how I should feel about that. I wasn't sure what to do there. Wait! Wait, seriously! There was like two games in one! What? There was the pet one, and then there was the... the dodging one. Maybe you need like a lot of hearts. So you can tank through some of the weird ones where you just can't see what's going on. Okay, your balance, 990. Bank connected, internet status, neural connection, 100%. Your balance, 430. 10%. 8506. Okay, this is how I've been doing the thing. Unintentionally, like doing the bomb one. You win. Cloud simulator. Area code LD41. Irregularly detected. Council performance may be affected. Porter Boy has no substitute for a healthy, active lifestyle. Go for one, get some fresh air, and real gamers know when to unplug. It's rat time. Consult your doctor if your Porter Boy makes you feel ill. Uh. This is different. Porter boy, solo. Track your porter boy. Touch here to continue. What the? That's new. Ooh, you try to. Pretty get me on that one. Rip. Money. Oops. I was forced to double tap. Oh, that was tricky. Got it. Okay, I got the secret, thankfully. That's gotta clear the screen. <laughs> um, this game's scary in this place. Health. 
Come on. It's fun. We got a secret. It worked. That worked for our favor. <laughs> Two secrets. We haven't actually gotten the secret before. Feed killer 2.3 preview. Count viability status. Stable reproduction rate. Okay. Hey, we just need to get through the games. Use Porta Boy. Now we die. I think we only need to get to 50, though. Maybe you could get to 100, I don't know. But to get all the uh, the things, you need 50. Spooky. I... No one is coming. But... You can get out. We've done all we can do. You have what you need. Find... Find the treasure. Egg. Those are the points we were getting down below. Gather the five eggs. 7472. Yes. Fish is down. Jumping game is down. Cal game is down. Racing game is down. It's just a pet game now. Sign this, sign this, sign this, and sign that. Now we own your soul. It's fine if we... I definitely need ammo or I don't. Because theoretically... 18344. Got it! Because if you don't have ammo, you die. Like, they just they, they don't go away, they just keep doing damage. 
If you have health, only if it's the final heart do you need hearts. Okay, focus on the X. Now what? I had to click that. Ooh, that was close. The game was still technically going. Am I being in some weird Game Boy coma? Yes. You did it! Got the crown. That's the credits, by the way. So, that's it for Porter Boy Plus. Now, it does look like Lumpy did make a Porter Boy 1. Or rather, like, there's an original version of this game that's much more... A little more primitive. It's got the same minigames for the most part, but graphically it's not as good. Uh, and I think it added additional video minigames and some other little tweaks. And it obviously has like an actual story and editing is like more polished. So if you feel like you've seen it in the past, that's probably why. Storyline wise, if we go through the gallery, we see that the Porta Boy series looks like it's tied in some kind of medical science that got kinda got converted when their stock started going down. So they made a porta coin, like a kind of a crypto kind of like thing. And it looks like it's tied into your brain energy. So you, it, you kind of play games. It can be the Porta Boy, it can be like, it looks like there was a, a PS5 or 4 version of it. Like there was all sorts of versions of it. You saw in like that little gallery. So it hooks into your brain and all your fingers, everything. And then you play it. And it's converting your brain energy for whatever reason to money. So you're hooked into the Porta Boy. And then there's a bit of an inception thing where the it's not so much the Porta Boy's like haunted and evil, I, at least I don't think so anyway. I think it's just, you know, it's like a nightmare, it's twisting itself. I think it's trying to, in a way, someone's trying to communicate to you, like, help you get out, or you yourself are trying to pull yourself out. And to do that, you gotta get all the eggs, don't sniff them, and then you, uh, unplug yourself from the machine. That's how I'm interpreting the story, anyway. There is some interesting stuff that flashes, like, it, it's real blink or you miss it. I only catch it because I'm like, I'm going through editing or, like, looking at things. Well, you do set numbers or like codes or things come up and maybe there's cheat codes maybe there's secrets additionally i don't know but i believe that is the ending like the, like that's the sole ending but there is some interesting stuff that flashes there some of it just like it's spooky stuff some stuff is other things but yeah so not that you're the first warrior wear style horror game i've played there's spookware which is a little more cutesy that's not really a scary game this one's trying to be a little more scary, and this one has a whole management simulator. Spookware is more better in the minigame department, because it's like a whole sold advanced game. This one's better in like the more scary horror department. That's the best way I can kind of like compare them, as far as the, the warrior horror, you know, uh, genre. But it's good, you know, it's, it's put together well. Got a little bit of like a, kind of like pressuring, I almost scripts like a Freddy kind of system. You get your little schlocky jump scares and little imagery and stuff like that. That's fun. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching Play Porta Boy Plus. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.